Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see about the exception, exception types, try catch finally blocks, and also we will see about throw and throws. Okay, what is exception? Exception is like an abnormal event which is occurred during the program execution, and the exception object will be created, and the execution will be stopped, and the uh, a created exception object will be handed to the runtime environment. Okay. Let us see the example. Here I have a demo class which has the uh, method, main method and inside the main method I have declared my um, variables int i and j. So here I am going to do uh, dividing the i by j. So um, I am going to divide 5 divided by 0. So this is going to give, uh, let us, this is going to give some exception. Let us see how the compiler is reacting for this program. So here I have created the program demo exception. So first I will show uh, how I mean without that exception handling how the system is going to react for the uh, program. I mean how the compiler is going to react for my program. So I am just commenting this time try catch block. See. Now this is the program I have the class exception demo and I have my variable declaration int i and j and directly I am going to divide this uh, i by j and I am going to print this value. So this is the statement after the division I, am, I want to execute this statement. Okay let us run this program. See I have got the output as exception in the main thread I mean main class arithmetic exception java.long.arithmetic exception divided by 0 so uh, after that see after this system dot uh, print ln 15th line after this 15th line uh, the except, uh, the statement has been statement execution has been stopped and it's giving this message okay let me try to handle this exception and i'll show you how the uh, compiler is reacting for the code try, try catch block I'm going to write type catch block. So here I have written the uh, try block. Try block inside the try block I have given the statement, the div division statement, and in the exception catch statement I'm going to capture this the, the exception arithmetic exception which has been thrown priorly and uh, the same the statement I am having after exception also okay let me run the program and we will see the output see here it's giving a message at lang dot automatic exception by zero and the execution is not getting stopped after that it is printing after execution this statement also so exception is like way of handling the program and giving the messages in proper way okay now you learned about uh, what is exception, basics of exception. Also, you have you have seen how we have uh, handled the exception with the try catch block. So now we will see in detail. You can handle the exception in uh, try catch finally block, and also you can use the two uh, keywords throw and throws. Okay. First, we will see about the try catch and finally block. You have to declare the statements inside the try block. I mean the statements which you have used you are suspecting like this may give me exception and inside the catch block you have to write a statement for catching the exception and finally block is like uh, if you are getting exception or if you are not getting the exception you will uh, the finally block will be executed and in the finally block you can like release the resources and if you want to close the connection you can do all those things. Uh, try catch will be first executed if any exception occurs inside the try any exception occur inside the try try block uh, the catch block will be uh, executed if the exception is not not occurred the catch block a uh, catch block won't be executed so irrespective of exception occurred or not occurred the finally block will be executed okay now we will see about the exception types uh, there are two types of exception. One is checked exception and the other one is unchecked exception. Uh, this checked exception will be checked in the compile time. Uh, I mean uh, the compiler will give you the information that uh, you have to handle this exception that is mandatory. It kind of uh, it will give the error message. 
but in case of unchecked ex exception uh, it occur only in the runtime uh, only during the runtime only you will get this unchecked exception so now we have seen one arithmetic exception that is uh, with the category of unchecked exception okay now we will see about the checked exception uh, in the java.lang package you have a io exception that is the main example for the checked exception so we will see a program for this checked exception also so this is the program i have written for the checked exception so here in this program i am going to write the uh, i am going to uh, create a file i am going to uh, sorry i am going to read the file and uh, here i am creating the file object and with um with this i'm going to input the file object to the buffer reader method and i'm going to create this buffer reader object and um, i have a content uh, yeah i have a, a string called content in the content uh, the, whatever i am reading from the file i am assigning this to content i am and uh, i am printing this content uh, uh, a content string and i'm closing this uh, uh, object and in the catch block i am going to handle io exception so in this case if i am not declaring exception the compiler should indicate the error message that i have to handle this exception okay let me try to uh, comment the uh, try and catch block see the compiler is giving error message the error message says unhandled exception type file not found exception so i have to handle this exception so if i remove this comment the compiler won't give error message now let me run this program and we will see the output so this is the input.txt file here in my project i have that file input.txt see this is the file in this file i have a message called hi how are you or also i can add some more content where are you let me run this program and we will see the output so there is no exception so the output has been printed here if i give the wrong in file name it should throw me the exception i just giving the wrong file name i'm going to run this program now see it's giving the exception file not found exception no file no such file or directory present yes i my input file is input.txt i don't have any file named input.txt file so this is checked exception uh, basically unchecked exceptions are uh, thrown in the runtime checked exceptions will be hand uh, checked checked exception will be indicated by the compiler so we have to mandatory we have to catch the uh, handle the checked exception unchecked exception it is not mandatory to handle the exception and uh, finally we will see about the uh, two keywords which is useful for exception handling one is throw the other one is throws throw is like it just you'll throw the exception if something anything happen abnormal event occurred we are just uh, uh, instructing the compiler to throw this particular exception throws is like you are declaring the exception for example my method one throws particular exception here you are giving the instruction to the other developers or uh, anybody's but this particular method will throw this exception you have to handle that exception so if you if you are calling that method one in my in your main method you have to write uh, try catch block for that method one we will see the program for this throw and throws keyword so this is the keyword this is the throw keyword example here i have the content if the content is null it will throw the null point exception if the otherwise if if any if i have any content the else part will be executed inside the if condition i am going to check if the content is empty if the content is empty i am going to throw null i am going to throw null point exception uh, so this is the class demo throw class name is demo throw the class member is content it's a string 
and uh, this is the main method inside the main method I am creating object for the class and I am going to call this uh, driving method inside the main method dt dot driving and I am pausing the uh, content string currently I am um, uh, giving the uh, input for the content I am assigning the past parameter to be the input to the content let me execute this program and we will see the output so I am just passing rty so it just printing the else part statement system dot output content is equal to so content is equal to rty I am getting in case if I am passing null value here I am not passing any value I am just empty string let's see how the program is giving me output see the content is empty, content is empty so it's going it's throwing the null point exception so inside the if condition yes the content is empty this will be this condition will be true so it is throwing the null point exception if I pause anything the exception won't throw yeah right this is the throw keyword so throw keyword is used to throw the exception if you are executing a particular statement or for particular condition if you want to throw any exception just use a throw keyword and you can throw that exception and I said earlier throws keyword is used for declaring the exception see here I have a method check method this is throwing arithmetic exception so as usual I have created a class and these are the class members int i is equal to 2 j is equal to 0 and I am going to divide this i by j so 2 divided by 0 uh, this will give you uh, arithmetic exception so in check method I am not going to handle this exception so who, whoever is calling this check method they have to handle this exception so here inside the main method I have created the object for the class and here I'm going to call this check method so for the check method I have to handle the exception so I already knows that it is going to throw arithmetic exception so inside the try block I'm going to call this method and with the catch block I'm going to de uh, define this arithmetic exception and I'm going to print that exception statement let me run this program and we will see the output yeah it's throwing the arithmetic exception if I give correct input it won't throw instead of 0 if I give 1 the exception won't occur yeah the exception won't occur so you have learned about exception what is exception and uh, what are the exception types how can you handle the exception and also uh, the types of exception so exception is like a abnormal event which is occurred during the program execution and uh, the exception object will be created and it will be handed over the runtime environment so we have seen how to handle the exception and also if you want to create any custom exception means you just uh, you can just uh, extend the exception class and you can create your own exception and also you have uh, two types of ex exception check checked exception and unchecked exception so checked exception are handled in the uh, compile time and the unchecked, unchecked exception uh, will occur only in the runtime and you have two keywords throw and throws thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day